Time now to preview, well, a very rare international between Samoa and Tonga on Saturday night at 7.30pm live on Fox Sports 1. Joining us now to preview the game is Nigel Vangana and Roy Asatasi. Boys, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Thanks for uh, having us. Roy, I'm going to start with you, mates. Of course, you've had some success with New Zealand in the past. Now, of course, playing for Samoa over the weekend. Why the change of allegiance? Yeah, I think for me, it's just more about um, representing my family. You know, obviously, I was born and raised in um, New Zealand. But in the household, I was raised up as a Samoan. So um, a lot of that's, you know, and that's something my parents are proud of. And I definitely want to honour them in that way. And Roy, let's just have a look at, I guess, the, the side that you're a part of. Lots of NRL players. Can you talk us through who are like the, the key guys in the in the lineup? Yeah, you know, you got guys like um, Junior Sal, Jeff Lima, one of the um, teammates from South Sydney Railroads, and um, you know, you got guys from North Queensland Cowboys. You know, Antonio Winterstein and uh, Khalifa Fai Fai Law. So, um, you know, it's it, it's great that those guys have. Um, decided to join um, Samoa and, you know, pledge your allegiance. So, um, you know, they, they had every opportunity probably to um, stick with New Zealand, but obviously they had the choice and they came across and, and that's something um, we'll probably uh, stay pretty much to have them on board. And Nigel, yourself, you, I believe you captain Samoa in the 2008 World Cup, is that correct? Yeah. So what role are you playing now as a part of the side? Obviously, you've, you've finished your career to a certain extent, but what role do you play in the team now? Um, I sort of, um, I, I guess, uh, uh, my official role, you know, is probably a technical director. They call me, uh, which basically means, uh, you know, if you, if you need a hand doing something, I do it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Obviously, being a smaller nation, we don't have the resources. Uh, we, we need a bit more help behind the scenes. So I'm just trying to, uh, trying to make it as professional as possible. And then we, if we get the guys like Roy and Jeff and uh, and all the other guys coming in the system, it's just like being in an NRL club. Oh, on the game, sorry, Louise. Yeah. On the game itself, uh, you, you've you've been quoted in the press as saying you, you believe it's it's a good comparison to make of the start of the relaunch of New South Wales versus Queensland in Origin. So obviously yourself, you must have a really strong feeling about this this particular fixture. Yeah, I think it's. Um, I mean, you look at the calibre of the teams that they put together. Um, they have, you know, I guess a pack like 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 uh, you know Roy and Jeff. Um, even even you know Fui Fui Moi Moi, you know Sika Manu, uh, Jason Tamalolo. Uh, Brent Kite, their captain. Uh, there's a lot of guys there who are, who are uh, seasoned first graders, but also uh, quality internationals as well, and they're choosing to uh, pledge their allegiance to the, help grow the game in the Pacific. Uh, so it's, um, it, I think this week's going to kick off uh, something special. And in terms of just the game and the tempo, big forwards and exciting backs, what can you talk us through what you're expecting out of the match? Um, big forwards and exciting backs. <laughs> uh, you know, every NRL team's got them now. Uh, but to bring them all together, yeah, I think it's going to be a fiery clash. There's a lot of passion involved. Uh, you spoke about the World Cup game in, in 2008 and, uh, and the passion and, and the pride, I guess, that the players had in representing their, their, um, their heritage. And uh, it's World Cup year again, so it's, uh, it's great to be able to give these guys or the next generation of guys an opportunity to do the same. Yeah, indeed. You mentioned the heritage, Roy. Uh, do you, have you had much to do with Steve Price? I understand something like 30% of the players in the rugby league are of Islander heritage. So it's obviously a significant game for you boys and, and, and he's been quoted in the press also saying it's been really difficult to pick a side. Do you see that that's because the standard of the Islander boys playing in the NRL at the moment has just gone through the roof? Ten years ago you probably look at the game and there wasn't, um, you know, the Kiwis probably struggled to get a team together and, and if they struggled to get a team together, Samoa was probably um, even far off worse. Um, so you can see how far the game has come now. Um, you know, Kiwis got so many talent to choose from and some more at the same time so um, Steve Price quoting that is a pretty good thing for um, our Pacific nation you know for Samoa and Tonga we looked at the Tongan squad um, you know they've got some outstanding NRL players in there so you know we've got a challenge we're excited uh, both nations really want to play this game and 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 like Nigel said before and, and the media has quoted it where it could be the next state of origin for uh, for us Pacific Islanders. And Roy, it's um, you know arguably the second biggest game of the week and ahead of City Country. Um, what are you expecting from the Tongan side? We might just have a look at, at that lineup. But what are you expecting from from that side? Oh look, I, I just expect the fiery clash. Um, you know, we looked at their side and uh, they got guys like Brent Kite, Sam Moore for the Roosters. He's been playing some uh, great football. And um, then you look at Sikamani down at Parents Panthers. So they got a lot of experience. Um, and I think the game will probably come down to. Um, He's going to dominate um, in the middle, so you know, you know, it's, it's going to be exciting. But we're looking forward to the challenge. 
Roy, just going back to the promotion of rugby league, especially when it comes to the Islanders, I understand that uh, there's a few boys that have come over from who, who actually usually aren't involved in the NRL, including I think four players, some trainers, a coach as well. Is that, do you feel, as, especially as a more experienced player, do you feel as that uh, these games are also a role to promote the game to guys that don't play professionally? Yeah, look, we've got probably five guys from um, Samoa, um, and we're working with them a lot. You know, this, we're really trying to pretty much promote professionalism and, and showing and probably the most important thing, skills. Um, you know, and, and that's probably the kind of relationship we're having with um, the Samoans here and the Samoans over um, back at, back home. So it's all about helping each other and trying to grow the game of rugby league in Samoa. And you know, I'm, and Tom is doing the same thing. So for both nations, it's a, I think it's a great thing for especially for the game of rugby league. And it's obviously a World Cup year. Looking ahead to October, your first match is up against defending champs New Zealand. Um, what are the goals for, your, for you guys for this year and what will that be like for you? Um, the foundation will probably start this week. You know, we've been working pretty hard throughout the week about preparation. Uh, not much you can do. It's kind of short. So, uh, but, you know, each day is an indication of, um, of ways to better ourselves and prepare ourselves towards the World Cup. So um, it's, a, it's a, lot, a big gap between now and then, but um, Saturday night's definitely um, a start for Samoa. Nigel, just uh, changing tack slightly from the game. We understand that uh, we we're just talking off camera. I understand <laughs> you're still a bit jet lagged. You've been in the United States of all places to promote the game of rugby league. We've got some incredible pictures here of you mingling with some of the <laughs> <laughs> some of the, yeah. the, the most high profile sports people in the world. What were you doing over in the states? Um, <laughs> I was actually. Uh, <laughs> Um, like in my role in the NRL as education welfare manager, I was actually overseas uh, trying to um, spend some time with some of the American sports over there uh, and learn some of the um, some of the ways that they help their athletes uh, off the field, uh, prepare them to come into the pro system and then out of the pro system. So uh, I spent some time with the basketballs you saw on TV there and, and the NFL guys and um, and also I went to a couple of colleges. So I went to Stanford Uni and uh, and, and Boston College. You know, so it's um, so it was great to be able to see how they uh, help their athletes and. And uh, you know we can pick up some stuff to help our guys once they finish their careers. And you mentioned off air before that you were yeah just in Boston and obviously with everything happening this week, have you contacted everyone you you saw there last week? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. We were at Boston College last week, so um, um, we caught up with the, the they call it the um, student athletes over there. Um, so we I contacted them this morning, make sure they're all right, and they were uh, they were all fine. They were obviously shaken up, uh, pretty emotional time over there at the moment, but. Uh, just wanted to let them know. We actually, uh, me and me and the other guy I went with from the Dragons, Scotty Stewart, uh, we actually went and trained their um, their local league team, their rugby league team, while we were there. So we took them through their paces and uh, and and gave them a session. So I contacted those guys to make sure they were all right as well. So it's uh, yeah, it was pretty eerie, but um, you know, I guess that uh, these things happen. Yeah, indeed. Well, it's good to see you back in one piece, boys. Uh, good luck for Saturday night. It should be a cracking game. And thanks for coming into Fox Sports News. No problem. Thanks for having us. Nice.